I think it's it's one of these pipes you swim into. Nope, not that one. Maybe it's up here. Nope. Ow. Okay, which which was it, or was it somewhere up here? Oh, there it is. I'm dumb. Yeah, I ran into the uh, the when you return Meridia's beacon to her temple, Sorry, last the time. guy you kill at What's the very end mind? of it. Hey Lydia, thanks for joining us. I can't believe it's over. The Twenty guy you killed at the end and you're supposed to defeat his shade after it's he's done. dead, I wound up multiple times on the console and the computer where he had uh I'm afraid it's not that where the shade would stay in place and he wouldn't take any damage whatsoever. Our access to the inner sanctum was removed. And it didn't matter how many times I hit him he would wind up being it wasn't created for the night being just utterly it invincible to test those who wish to it got to the point where I'd gotten my two-handed skill up to like I got it up five levels from hitting him that's how invincible this guy was so what I did was I just console command and kill him it's all you can do when I mean, the game glitches like that there's to protect the key I'm Nothing you can do. I reloaded several times and he wound up just being invincible every single time. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life and it's never let me down. <laughs> yeah, you're both you bow is worthless. Sorry, lass. I've got important things to do. Oh, let me through. Ooh, stamina regen. Nice enchant. Bronze Rotor Cave. Ooh, another Dwemer Ruin. Where's my horse? Porkers. Really, that missed him? Fuck you, horse. Damn it. Go away! I'm right behind you. Nope, go away, Lydia. Go away, console. Wow, that bear screwed me the hell up. <laughs> Yay, get all my all my bullshit, including that uh
I thought he put these on you. What are these? Carrying capacity. Wow. All the alchemy ingredients. Oh, it's a quest item? Screw you. Wait a minute. Sweet. Um, before I... I built this PC about a year and a half ago. I used to play on console. It just wound up being a quest I never completed. Okay, where is this at? Alright, let's go to Falk Reef. Now we're in New Quest territory. This is as far as I've gotten on the Thieves Guild quest ever. Because I was like, a lockpick that never breaks? Let's just keep that and never complete the quest. I don't know really. Blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. Oh uh, no. Keep your nose clean while you're here outside. Goodbye. I want nothing to do with you and your fucking horrible dog quest. On the console, if I wound up with a quest that got glitched, I just never completed it. On the PC, if it's to the point where if I reload a couple times, and it still doesn't uh, fix itself, I will wind up... Uh, I'll wind up either... Um, Completing the qu uh, completing the cl uh, quest with a command console code, or I will just console kill the bad guy. Because let's face it, it's a Bethesda game. They've got they've got some glitches. Are you a bad dude? Yep, you're bad, dude. Kill them, my minions! Who's shooting me? Go away. There's something over there. Kill it. I think I might have just killed some, um, killed some people that were kind of neutral. No, it says bandit. Come here, horsey. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Let's change that before it screws me over. I 
And I can't remember what I picked up. Oh, there we go. Lots of hides. For the PC, um, the PC and console versions are exactly the same. All the quests, all the DLC, and all that fun stuff. The PC offers superior, basically enhanced gameplay because of the fact that you can install mods. And generally for any Bethesda game, the first mods I install are weapons mods, and then graphics, texture, just Im mods that improve how the game looks. Because with it, uh, oh no, what do you want? Oh, thank goodness. I've been wandering alone for so long I thought I'd never see another soul again. Yeah, this sounds like a trap. by these bandits weeks ago. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guards... Oh, thank you. You're at Mistwatch. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Okay. That was a random encounter. But the PC offers superior mod ability and my internet's pretty much shit, but I'm running this at uh I'm running this at high settings, not ultra high. <gasps> Die, bitch. I'm running this at uh, high settings, not ultra. And I built this PC for 500 bucks. It's a um, eight core, four gigahertz processor by AMD. Um, I have eight gigs of RAM. I can go up to 32. Uh oh. Uh, NVIDIA 750 GT, GT or GTX. And multiple various hard drives. Damn it, it's a ghost. What do you want? You gonna talk to me? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I'm staying quiet because this is a new part of the quest I've never done before. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key. Dead. Then it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Uh oh, these are always kind of Yeah, screw the Daedra Lord. I've got plenty of money, let's just honor. You've done the guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret 